And next one, if R is a positive integer, comma n is an odd integer, if zero less than capital F less than one, and phi root five plus eleven fall power n is equal to R plus F capital R plus capital F. Then prove that R is an even integer. And second one is capital R plus small f capital F into capital F is equal to four power n. Given. Capital R plus capital F is equal to phi root five plus eleven. Whole power n. Consider as condition number one, comma zero less than capital F less than one. Zero less than capital F less than one. Consider find the its conjugate value. Consider one twenty one is less than one twenty five is less than one forty four. Phi root five means that is the square root of one twenty five. That lies in two perfect squares is one twenty one and one forty four. A plus square root that is square root of one twenty one less than Square root of 125 less than square root of 144. That is 11 less than square root of 125 means phi root 5. Phi root 5 is less than 12. Subtract 11 on both sides. That is 11 minus 11 less than phi root 5 minus 11 less than 12 minus 11. That is 0 less than phi root 5 minus 11 less than 1. Zero less than phi root five minus eleven less than one. The zero less than phi root five minus eleven whole power n is less than one. Consider small f is equal to phi root five minus eleven whole power n, comma zero less than small f less than one. This is the condition number. Two. Condition number two. First find. First to find it's a conjugate. Here the term is phi root five plus eleven. Then it's a conjugate is phi root five minus eleven. Here phi root five means one twenty five. That lies in two perfect squares is eleven square and twelve square. That is one twenty one less than one twenty five less than one forty four. Apply the square root. That is eleven less than phi root five less than twelve. Subtract eleven. It is eleven minus eleven is less than phi root five minus eleven is less than twelve minus eleven. There is zero less than phi root five minus eleven less than one. Taking nth power on both sides, there is zero less than phi root five minus eleven whole power n is less than one. Consider small f is equal phi root five minus eleven whole power n, comma zero less than f less than one. This is the condition number two. And consider one minus two implies. The implies i plus capital F minus small f is equal to. This is a phi root phi, right? One minus two implies zero less than capital F minus small f less than one minus one. Zero less than capital F minus small f less than one minus one. This implies zero less than capital F minus small f less than zero. This implies capital F is equal to small f. This is a condition number three. Capital F is equal to small f. It is a condition number three. And next, one minus two implies that is R plus f minus small f is equal to R plus f minus small f is equal to phi root five plus eleven whole power n minus of phi root five minus eleven whole power n. Phi root five plus eleven whole power n minus of phi root five minus eleven whole power n. Expand the binomial binomial theorem. That is, here capital R plus zero is equal to is n c naught into phi root five whole power n plus n c one into phi root five whole power n minus one into eleven plus n c two into phi root five whole power n minus two into eleven square plus n so on plus minus of And C not in phi root five. And C not in phi root five whole power a whole power n minus and C one into phi root five whole power n minus one into eleven percent so on. And C one into phi root five whole power n minus one into eleven percent so on. Here and C not and C not gets cancelled. That is the two times of. 
एन सी वन इन टू फाइव रूट फाइव होल पावर एन माइनस वन इंटू इलेवन एन सी वन इन टू फाइव रूट फाइव होल पावर एन माइनस वन इंटू इलेवन प्लस एन सी थ्री इंटू फाइव रूट फाइव होल पावर एन माइनस थ्री इंटू इलेवन क्यू प्लस एंड सो प्लस एंड सो इज इक्वल टू एक्सपेंड फाइव रूट फाइव प्लस इलेवन होल पावर एन एंड फाइव रूट फाइव माइनस इलेवन होल पावर एन That is n c not into n c not into five five root five whole power n plus n c one into five root five whole power n minus one and so on. Here n c not n c not gets cancelled. N c one plus n c one two n c one plus two n c three and so on. That is equal to two times of integers means that is equal to even integer. Called R is equal to even integer. That is the first one. R is equal to even integer, and go to second bit is consider R plus f into small f is equal to it is a five root five plus eleven whole power n into five root five minus eleven whole power n five root five whole power n into five root five minus eleven whole power n. Capital R plus small f, capital F into here small f is equal to capital F. Since from condition number three, here a plus b into a minus b, that is a square minus b square. Five root five whole square minus eleven square whole power n is equal to one twenty five minus one twenty one whole power n. Therefore, capital R plus capital F into capital F is equal to four power n. Since from three. Small f is equal to capital F. Capital R plus small capital F into capital F is equal to four power n.